Hey, Miss Vector. If you're just lounging around, come to the bridge for a sec. Oh, what could it be? I wonder if something happened. I'm sure it's probably fine. Now, just gotta remember the way to the... To the, uh... To the bridge. Also, it doesn't help that I'm, I'm cutting and editing that out, but... It is like five, six seconds of loading screens between each area. So... It takes a minute to get around, you know. Hey, Alan. Hey, Chief. Hello, oh, Alan. What's the matter? I've been thinking a lot since then, and they seem to be pretty good people, so I'm thinking of trying to meet them halfway, bit by bit. <laughs> wow, Alan, I'm surprised. You're usually so hard-headed with your logic and preconceptions, so I was worried that you'd become like one of Wells' aliens. <clears throat> what? <laughs> One of HG Well, I'm thinking is she talking about HG Wells, the the War of the Worlds? Is he the War of the Worlds guy? Did did she think he was gonna turn into a giant spider? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Moving on. I hope the bridge is up here, otherwise Oh, the floor says so. How nice of the floor. It is again. That's so weird. What is it? It's the catapult deck. There seems to be something wrong with the hatch. Air pressure? No leaks at the moment. I wonder if it's the electrical system. Shall I take a look at it? Uh, that'd be great. Doesn't look like a leak, but be careful just in case. Got it. Man, you'll call me up here just to send me back down. Can you go check up, check the catapult? Okay, where is it? Okay, but where is it? Okay, but where is it? Console is right behind the catapult. Where's the catapult? Is it in this room or is it somewhere else? Because I'll be honest, I've walked all the way around the ship. Don't remember seeing a catapult anywhere. Do you know about the EVS plate there? EVS is a general term for the Environmental Simulation Service offering offered by the UMN administration. You probably wouldn't understand a detailed explanation, so I'll explain it in layman's terms. Can also activate various environmental simulators. Oh, we got upgraded, I think. This wasn't here last time. Game centers. Ah, right, okay. And also have battlefields. You need a passport. We've got a couple of those. Okay, how do I access those? I'm not going to right now, but... Oh, yes, that's how you do it, okay. Xeno card. <laughs> Let's just do an unboxing. <laughs> wow. Starter box. Okay, let's, let's get a starter box. We got a level one Shion! Whoa! <laughs> a civilian child! <laughs> Civilian female? Uh, you tick soldier? <laughs> All purpose reality <Reallian> male. <laughs> uh, drone. Oh, a handgun! I've always wanted a handgun card. Uh, oh, cur okay. Curry card. I'm into that. George, you can only hold up to three identical cards. 
26 cards sold at 130. Okay, so you get some money back. All right. Cool. I mean, I might as well open the card pack as well, you know? Ooh, Minotaur. Now that's all right. <laughs> Matthews. The card on the field, one cost must be paid. Without... Wait a minute. Is this Magic the Gathering? <laughs> or some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh? Dragon Skull? Jeez. I'll be interested in getting into this at some point. You see, each card has health and attack. And a cost, and some of them have... Look at a, a field effect as well. This seems like a very in-depth card game. I was expecting something like Triple Triad, where it's just like, my number is bigger than that number, so I win. But this actually feels like it's pretty in-depth. <laughs> like it's got Magic the Gathering and um, Yu-Gi-Oh sort of rules. This might actually be quite interesting. <laughs> okay. But uh, like I say, I'll, 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 get it, I'll get into that at some point. Draw a level 10 sheet on card from your deck and add it to your hand. Okay. Whenever this card destroys an enemy card. Whereas every time Shion defeats an enemy, I get another Shion. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Xeno card. Do you guys do anything? No, civilian seems just like the, um, like cannon fodder. Because all of them are the same, just three health, one attack, and no effect. Okay. The card is destroyed. The owner of the card must pay one cost. The one card per turn rule does not apply to this card. If you use this card, select one card from the deck during your adjust phase. It's even got a phases! Jesus! Yeah, this is going to be, uh... Yeah, this is going to be interesting, I think. Yes, not right now. At some point, I'll go through all of the uh, mini games we have, because we have a few of them now, right? Once, uh, once it loads back in. Let's just have a look at what I got. Mission key. Yes, yeah, so I've got the card passport for the card game. You've got the drill passport for the drill game, which I guess is going to be just like a mini game version of what we did on the Woglin Day with the uh, the drill, which is going to be interesting. And use this if you're supposed to play an AGWS minigame. Based on the fact that it's called a battle passport, I assume there's going to be combat with robots. So, you know, a Xeno series <laughs> minigame. Dear, not me to go into that. Wait a minute. It's a beat em up, isn't it? Okay. Interesting. I'll admit, I'm not as big a fan of beat em ups as I am of card games. Let's go and find the catap. Is it a map? Where do y'all keep your catapults? Catapult deck, okay. So I need to take the elevator, go down to hangar one, two. Okay. So yes, he did call us up just to send us right back down to where we were. He could have just told us to do this over the intercom. It's fine though. But yeah, I don't know um I don't know how in depth the mini games are in this. Like, do you get 
good rewards for it? Is there even any rewards for doing it at all? Or is it just there for the funsies? These ships really need some kind of fast travel, you know what I mean? What's wrong? I'm just going to see what's wrong with the catapults, because apparently ships in this universe have catapults. <sighs> something wrong? How bad is it? I don't think it's anything serious, but I'm going to check out just to be safe. Do you, do you know where it is, perhaps? I'm kind of lost. Yep, back down to the hangar. Fifteen minutes later, we're back to where we started. It's not here, nor there, nor anyway. Hey, I know how you feel. Is something in the matter? We're looking for something, but I can't find it. You can help the lobby? Mate, I can't even find a catapult, which sounds like it's pretty big. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you find whatever you're looking for. We'll see. <laughs> I make no promises, though. <sighs> yeah, it's a map of all the hazardous sectors in space. The captain went to lost it. Now he's yelling at me. I think it's got to be somewhere on the ship. A hazardous area map. What? The hazardous map area? What do you need that for? Tony's looking for it. What the hell is he doing? It's right here, of course. <laughs> I'm saying that I have it. See? This is it, right? Tell them more to quit goofing off and get back here right now. Back down we go. It's fine. Hey, you found it. Out of girl, Shion. Where the heck was it? Your captain had it. That's a weird thing. The captain had it. What? That stupid senile jackass. Did the gnosis suck out his brain or something? He ordered me to find it while he had it all along. What? Sheesh. I can't do that, uh, meme sheesh noise. <laughs> My voice just doesn't go there. Oh, sorry, it's got nothing to do with you. Thanks for finding it. Hang on to this. Medkit DX. I assume that's like big medkit? Yes. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled catapult hunt. It's not here, but hey, Cosmos. This is not a catapult. Okay. Shouldn't you go to the catapult catapult deck at the bow? Where is that? Yeah, I think I found it. <sighs> Everything checks out normal. Nothing seems to be wrong. Better be something wrong after it took me this long to find this bloody place. Oh, that doesn't look fine. There's an email for Xi'an. We just confirmed the intruder logged on. Access Dharmarung and the second RNA division through the Vector NSS network. You'll need to supply an access code to the gatekeeper in order to access the Vector NSS. We'll continue monitoring at our end. We're counting on you. What does any of that mean? So what do I actually have to do about that? Or is it just like, is this just like a quest line that's kind of like automated just through the emails? Can hope so. <sighs> secured. So yeah. so yeah, we're connected here, okay. You're saying a lot of things. I've identified his location. Nijuta has been hacking from space. I mean, aren't we all in space? <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't really narrow it down all that much, you know. <laughs> Zooming in on space location, an identifying node. Ah, oh, he logged off. I don't think he was onto us, do you? No, I don't think that's what just happened. He wasn't on us, he just simply logged off. Well, he probably logged off because nature called or something. What? I wish he'd take care of that ahead of time. 
the bird, I guess. <laughs> Man, four more seconds. No, wait, not even four seconds. He just stayed up just for three more seconds. What about two seconds? When he had stayed connected, we could have located him. Yes, that is how that works. On the contrary, we could have seen this dirty rat's face if there was a security camera. Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna hack his webcam. Oh no. Or if there was a multi purpose robot close by. Oh, I missed him by a hair. Oh dear. I don't come up with three pro proposed locations where the intruder is likely to be. So please read it as soon as possible. Trudor didn't access the UMN using the administrative bureau's equipment, but likely up to link in directly to the UMN independently from a place equipped with a large <laughs> laser communicating device. Uh, the only facilities capable of uh, large part of the will be a planet, an asteroid, or a power generating satellite. One is asteroid loots. Another is power generating satellite LS-13. Among the possibilities include one cargo spaceship stationed at Lutz. Hopefully I don't have to read all this because this is a this is a lot of information. This is a lot. <clears throat> Asteroid Lutz is the most likely place. That's all I wanted to know. Ooh, cancel so so I can send them to a, a specific location. I kind of do have to read this, I think. Just between the asteroid and the cargo ship, I'm, I'm just going to go with his suggestion of the asteroid. No idea if any of that even means anything, or if it's important or anything, but... I'm not going to worry about it too much. I remember at some point they were telling us about how we could um, revisit old areas as a simulation. Uh, how 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 would I do that? Was it in the UMN? I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. But yeah, I'm not going to do it this yet until I've like got party members. We're kind of on our own at the moment. I just had to. Remember how to do that. But since today has been kind of a non-episode non and not a lot's happened. Let's try one of the minigames. <clears throat> not the card ones, I think that's going to be a bit more in-depth. That might need uh, an episode to itself, probably. What? I love Driller! <laughs> Okay. Welcome to the Driller Games, your first time, right? Everything checks out. Now you're right, customer. Go talk to Holiana over there for instructions. Welcome to the Driller Game. What would you like me to explain? Not the gate. There's modes. Free mode. He'll aim for randomly placed boxes and destroy them. This is a very popular mode. We get items? Okay. This is where you can obtain the drill key. Okay. Then there's mission mode. The time limit? Okay, so you actually do get items for doing... Uh, so you actually... Uh, back out. I don't need an explanation. <laughs> Uh, so you do actually get items for, for this. Damn, I can't get any drill key. If only I had a drill key, I could open this door. The prizes here are all one of a kind. I don't want someone else to get it. You better not swipe them. I think I'm about to swipe them. How do I? How do I play? Missions are what DG is about. <laughs> Oops, sorry. This is it's the driller game. 
to, to be correct. Veterans like me call it DG. <laughs> you seem like a total nub. So you should just stick to calling it Driller Game. Oh. How doth one start? <laughs> oh, a child can't get items in the Driller Game, so she's asking me to buy them. If you people have any extra items, would you sell them to me? No. No, I'm good. I'll buy any extra items you have. We're buying! I can't get any items. There's no fun. I want items. Gimme, give gimme. Give no, go away. <laughs> How do I play? How do I start? 200G, okay. Let's do a free mode. Ooh, there's under construction? I guess that's more missions, okay. Let's do a free mode. Want to explain free mode? I'm good. I learn by doing. Presumably it's like identical. I've already fucked up a little bit. I got a big one. Let's get. Let's try and get these. You hit your targets, pick up any items that came out. Did they get cleared away before the next game? Did I? Did I get any items? I did not. So I guess it's kind of random. Okay. Well, that's that. That's what I might do on my own time just to, uh. I don't know, farm some items or something. It seems fun, but it doesn't seem like something that's very entertaining to watch, you know? Let's try this one. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, okay. I win. Okay, see, it's not just a beam up, it's like a full on thing. Holy moly. Not sure why my camera turned around there. Stage clear. This part reminds me of um, some of the Gundam PS2 games. The camera controls are a little bit odd. It's like no matter what, my camera keeps turning around to the left, but sometimes it just doesn't turn at all. So I don't know. Maybe I should have taken note of the controls, because I generally don't know how to turn my camera around at the moment. <laughs> I don't know how I'm boosting either. I can't turn around! It's like, I'm good once I get them stun locked in like a sword position, but I... Genuinely, I don't know how to turn around the, the camera.
because the left, the right analog stick, it just seems to move. I have no idea how I'm doing this, I'm just like, really just button mashing, I have no idea what's going on. And somehow, even without having control over my camera, I'm still winning. <laughs> Which makes me think this is not a very challenging minigame, because I would be dominating this if I had actual controls. How long does this go on for? Tell me of the controls. It, you don't seem to get anything for doing that anyway, so... No, oh, yeah, both the analog sticks are just movement. And you jump up by pressing the analog sticks what what? What madman created these controls? That is insanity. Who did that? I want their name now. Anyway, that's enough of those mini games. Oh yeah, we've got a something to do on the bridge, which sounded somewhat important.